Hi guys, welcome to the Rusty Candy Man. Today I'm working on this 1975 to 80 Troy Belt horse tiller and it needs the drive belt changed on it. I can't find any serial number on it so I can't be sure exactly what year it is. Alright guys, today what we're doing is replacing the belt here on this old workhorse tiller. So as you can see, I removed the motor. The reason I'm replacing it is because when I would go to till, when I would engage it with the lever back there, it would just slip and like the tines wouldn't, wouldn't move. So I think this is an old belt that's been on here for a long time and has just wore so much on the sides that it doesn't... Um, grip anymore because that's too narrow. I've ordered a new belt and I'm going to be putting that on. The old number of this belt was 2701 and uh, there's a number here 265 160 maybe and I don't see a brand. This is my new belt. Um, I don't know if you can see the part number there. And I don't have a model number on my tiller anymore so I had to kind of guess. Um, some of these belts are 10 inch, some of them are 10 and a half inch. I think that this one is a ten and a half. That's the belt I got. I'm gonna compare it with the old belt. See how it lines up. Yeah, I might have got the smaller one, the ten inch. The old one might be ten and a half, but I don't know how much this one is stretched. I definitely know it's wore on the sides because it's all shiny. And compared to the new one, it's definitely narrower. Probably can't see that, but. So we're going to see if we can get this new belt on here, get this back together and see how it does.
right, guys, that's all there is to that belt chain. Just about three sets of bolts taken out there. Support your motor. Old belt off, new belt on. Not too big a deal. Probably make a big difference in how it runs here in a second. So, till next time, guys, good luck with all your projects. As you can see, I was having problems keeping the tiller in gear. It kept wanting to pop out. I found the adjustment. It's right behind the steering column, basically. You loosen the hold up and you slide the little cog up or down, depending on what you need. And that solved the problem. <laughs>